acoustics of buildings. Acoustic is that branch of physics which deals with the study of production, transmission and reception of sound. Architectural acoustics deals with the design and construction of buildings, music halls, broadcasting stations, etc. such that the sound is reproduced without any distortion. Let us now learn about the factors affecting the acoustics of a large auditorium. Loudness. The sound should be heard sufficiently loud at all the points. For good distribution of sound, there must be a parabolic surface behind the speaker with the speaker at its focus. The sound after reflection reaches the audience as shown in the ray diagram. Reverberation. There should not be excessive reverberation. The persistence of audible sound due to the successive reflections from the surrounding objects, even after the source has stopped to produce that sound, is called reverberation. The reverberation time is the time required for the intensity of sound to fall to 10 to the power minus 6 of its initial value. A room with zero reverberation is called a dead room. The reverberation time can be controlled by having very few windows, covering the walls with sound absorbing materials like asbestos, cardboard, etc., using upholstered seats, covering the floor with carpets. A loud reverberation time is 1 to 2 seconds for music and 0.5 to 1 second for speech. Echo Echoes must be eliminated. An echo is a repetition of sound produced by the reflection of sound by an obstacle. Hello. 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 The sensation of the original sound lasts for one by tenth of a second due to the persistence of sound. So, for the echo to be heard clearly, the reflected sound must come only after one tenth of a second. That is, the sound must travel a distance equal to. 340 into 1 by 10, that is equal to 34 meters. Thus, the least distance of the obstacle is 17 meters for hearing a clear echo. To reduce echo, the reflecting surface must be made more absorptive. Echoes must be eliminated. Echo will be less if the auditorium is houseful. Focusing and interference. Unnecessary focusing of the sound should be avoided and there should not be any zone of poor audibility or region of silence. Hence the curved surface of the walls or ceiling should be avoided. Due to the interference of sound at some point, the sound heard will be maximum and at some points, sound heard will be minimum. To avoid this, the walls are made rough and more absorptive. Resonance effect. When the frequency of the sound produced in the hall is equal to the natural frequency of the air column in hollow spaces of the hall, the window panes start vibrating in resonance and thus produce a jarring effect. Using convex cylindrical segments on ceilings and walls, we can reduce this effect.
Echelon effect Echelon effect is due to the mixing of sound produced in the hall with the echoes produced from the footsteps when a person climbs the stairs. To avoid this, stairs may be replaced by a ramp. Soundproofing of a hall The hall should be made soundproof when closed so that no sound enters from outside. Care should be taken that no sound is produced from the seats. Soft action door closers should be used. Instead of fans, air conditioners may be used.